Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I'm back again. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you now another piece on this bit of work. Um, because I still want to work on it, so you come along with me and, well, I ducked out a minute ago on the last video because I needed to follow my buttons, but they were sitting here, but I thought I'd better keep going anyway, just in case, because of my time thing. All right. Now, the, my phone could ring because, uh, maybe it could, maybe it will, maybe it won't. My husband and I decided now, at our age, we should get a smart phone. <laughs> the phone couldn't be smart, but we're not having a lot of fun with it. He finds it hard to work it out, uh, got to answer it, and, well, there's things, you know, so, of course, you've got to answer it. And I just tried to ring him because he told me to, and he said it. It answered itself in his pockets. <laughs> I don't know what um, to make of that, but anyway, it's okay, it's fine. I have got some little buttons in here, but I'm not seeing something that I am overly excited about. Let me see what have I got. Maybe I just should use some little white ones, I don't know. Let's just see what we've got here. Um, I don't know if there's any particular place that I wanted to put them, so I might just do a couple more. Well, I'm going to do a stitch we've already showed you, but see how bad it all that. Now that's really cool, isn't it? It's a little motif thing, and it's crocheted, and I've beaded it all. So I might be putting that somewhere too. Why not, you know? And I'll put that in the flower packet, where all the flowers are. Now let me see. These are nice, aren't they? But where would they go? I'm just... I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to have a, an idea. I like these ones in mauve too. There's a pink, pinky color one. Is it pink? No, it might be just a shadow. <coughs> no, a, bit more, a bit more ambitious here with a bit more color. I'm not really, I'm keeping it very subdued, don't I? This one here, I'm keeping it. Well, I, d I don't want it to be too. <coughs> too bright because I'm trying to keep it in the place of pale colours. A bit of brightness there but not a lot. Um, well you know what, I'm not really a big fan of the buttons at this stage. To be honest, I'm not really a big fan of the buttons. So let's have a bit of a stitch. I'm going to put on some more something similar to that. So we need our needle and some thread I've actually been mucking up my things and not putting them away properly, have I? It's not good for... <laughs> you be doing that somewhere. Look at this. Okay. Right. I'm Sonia, and I'm in Australia, and I'm having a good day. <laughs> well, I'm okay. <laughs> We've got, to, we've got to be positive, you know, about everything. It helps a lot to be positive. I need a colour. I need a colour. What colour will I do? Um, I want to put this, this something that I'm going to do in there. I'm going to put it in there. I'm going to take that out of there. It will fall down. Let me see. Would you do a yellow? No. I've got a bit of pale apricot or something that I fancy. That's not right. That's not able to anyway. But, mm. it was just a thought. Um, the yellow. It might look okay. I've got a bit of yellow there. Let's have a try of this one. I've got a bit of... Look at that. I'm just having a peep over in these cottons to see if I've got the yellow. I do like I do, I do like mauve colours. I really do. <laughs> but I don't think I want to put the mauve on it. <coughs> I think I'm gonna use this um, embroidery thread, okay? This time because I wanna um, I want the, I just like the, the colour to be a bit bit more a bit lighter than what I've got there so far, okay? Uh, um, the other one I meant. 
to say. I'm just, you, know, <laughs> you just talk sometimes, don't you? You don't. I'm not, I should listen to myself more often. I talk all the time. <laughs> well, not all the time, but I do have a word occasionally. <laughs> because I'm just, um, that's just the way I am, I guess. I need something that I started as I got a little bit older. <laughs> it's just something that, I don't know. It's not a bit, it's not very good when you're on the street doing it, but if you say something, well, I'll just talk to them yourself because <laughs> they look at you and, you and they go, oh, that's all right, we do that too. <laughs> so I feel a bit better now, you know, other people do it as well, so that's okay. Talk your way through what you're doing is what I seem to do a bit because that way you do really well. I was watching this story on the TV about people learning to drive. Now, the story was a documentary a while back, and this young bloke talked about everything he was going to do as he was doing it. It, might, it may have upset the man that was teaching him, but by jeez, he was good at what he was doing. But he was talking to himself and keeping himself, you know, checking everything and doing it and going. He did really, really well. Now, I'm going to try and make a circle in here. I'll do it in the centre bit. don't want it to be too big. And try and make a circle without, you know, going too far of um, this um, buttonhole stitch. Right? You want them all to be the same length. I didn't want it to be this big either, I don't think, but anyway, let's keep going. Don't get too disheartened, yes, on you. So we're just doing a buttonhole stitch. We have a piece of thread from something else in there with us as well. Around here like this. Keep going. I do like these little things, don't you? These little bits. I think they look good. There's so many different ways you can put the stuff you can do with this. So many different things, you know. And I think it's good, it's it's sort of looking blending in a bit. It's not taking over the piece. And that's what we need. We don't want it to be too over the top. It looks really cool. Do you think I can make them smaller? I'd really like to try it, you know, because I want to do another one. <clears throat> Some more on here. We lost a little wheel. And then you just go back down in the end of there where you come out. Okay? The front bit. Maybe that's not right. <laughs> Am I supposed to end that off a bit first? No, it did work. It looks fine. Righto. Thread this up again because I'm going to duck along the back here and put a little a little one. Because I will put then something in the centre of it. So these are like little spokes on the wheel, aren't they, what we're doing? We could put a little one here. Over here on this. Now, because I'm carrying my thread across behind the back of there, I'm going to do one small back stitch. Because I don't want my thread to pull, you know, from, and it will. So just, you know, to make, take mine to do that. So you're not puckering up your work as you go along. So I'm going to try and make this really little, if I can. I'm only doing about, um, I don't know, milli we're talking a, milli a quarter of an inch, a millimetre thing, or some tiny millimetre things we're going to do. You can hardly see that there's spokes in it, but that's okay, isn't it? You know, you can see the little, the little spokes in the little whirly thing that we're making. Just use your, um, you know, just make it flow around. <laughs> if you would say you were drawing, you just go around like if you were drawing something. Okay? It's quite easy. Maybe it takes a little practice sometimes, and I have, I don't think I've ever done this before, this stitch. Um, but, when I say stitch, I meant this design. I don't think I've ever done it on anything yet um but it's just the, the practice of the i have been doing embroidery for 
Well, I'm up to probably 30 years, I suppose, 35 years, and I really have done so much different stuff, and that's how you learn. That doesn't mean you have to be doing it for 35 years to be able to do it, because you don't. You can easily do really well, you know, just... it off like that. Isn't that cute? I do like that. And then I'm going to put another one down here because it should have three. And I don't really want one on either side of that. It might look like eyes or something. Now we're going to do a back, back stitch. It's a tiny one in the middle. <coughs> so you're not pulling your thread. And then we go around here again. Okay. Oops. Get got caught get caught on the bead. These beautiful beads, they're like caught the rose gold colour sort of. <clears throat> so for all you ladies sewing along there with me, I'm really excited. <laughs> It's really good that I'm not here on my own. <laughs> it's really good. I don't know if I was here with a whole of the ladies, or you <laughs> we probably wouldn't get any sewing done. Be too much talking and giggling and stuff like that, wouldn't you? There's so many things to you know to learn and to do, though. See, it's all good, isn't it? So over there like that. It's probably not really correct where how I ended that off, but I'm not gonna be too upset about that. Don't you think that looks ducky? Now I've got to find just the right colour bead to put in that. Okay, I've got to find the right colour bead. Because if it's not right, it's not gonna look very right. So I end off a couple of back threads there, back stitches. And Okay. Sort of working a bit, isn't it? Working a bit. I might use my big soup again because I can't see the right thing anywhere, I don't think. I could just, don't want to put the little flower in it, no. I want to put the little flower in it. Um, don't think I've got anything small enough in here. Is that one there? <coughs> I think it's too big. Yes, that's way too big, that is. <coughs> okay. The poor husband. He gets very frustrated with fun. We had one before and he just couldn't handle it. So we, could, we got rid of it and then we had one of those flip up ones, you know, that you just have to open the answer. And this one's like that too, but I don't know what's going on with him. He seems to... He stands in here, I ring him, and he answers it. He goes outside to go up to town. and can't figure out for the life of me how to get to it, so I don't know. I do want to put one of these on here, don't I? I was playing with that a while ago, wasn't I? Before I let it go out. I'll keep that over there too. For later. Okay. Oh dear, I don't know why that green one is probably just got a hole in it though. Fix that on there. You're doing a lot of fiddling about here, Sonia. <coughs> I want a bead. Wouldn't think it'd be that hard, would ya? This is nice. <coughs> Am I gonna hang this on here? Oh dear, that'd be gee, that's nice, isn't it? Wait a minute now. We'll work out which way it goes. Was it, was it an earring or something, wasn't it? Looks like it was an earring. Which way does it go? Oh my goodness me, what are you doing? I've got no idea. Ah, oh, crikey. That hangs down there, that part goes down there. Oh look, there it is. There it is. Oh look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? Oh wow. I think that deserves a spot. I do. 
Let's reckon that deserves a spot on here. Maybe we'll think about that on the next piece. We should start these things, you know, at the same time. Right, I've got, I've got a, a bit of thread. I've got to find a bead. Got myself so sidetracked. Sorry about that. Okay. Only thing wrong with these, they are a little bit tricky to open. Then can you jump about? But um. I'm not going to put the colours just there, I don't know what I'm going to put in there yet. It'll all come to me any minute now. Maybe a touch of green wouldn't be go astray. I don't know if I've got anything that's light. So I didn't want anything too. I don't know why I've got any green right there. Should do, now I've got the needle. It's just fell out of in hand. Okay, let's just come up through the back of here and see what goes in it. Right. I think that's a tiny bow. Oh, I know, this one here, I think. It's a really nice pinky colour. Aha. Yep, that's him. That's the, that's the number one, isn't it? And I'm going to sew this on a couple of times, right? So it stitch through, come up through the back, because I've only got one string of thread, okay? I'm only using one string of thread, so it'll go further, but it's, or it's easier to use, but you go through a couple of times and that'll hold it in place. Now, for these littler ones, I don't know if that bead's too big. So now see what see what happens when I didn't end it off properly. I puckered that up, didn't I? So I'm going to have to go through here and come back up again and do a, a knot. Oh well, not a knot, but secure it so it doesn't pull the other thing up, the other little wheelie thing. Now I'm going to try and see if I can find something that's same colour as that, only a bit smaller. Is that possible? No, I don't think so. Might be. Yeah, it is. Look at that. Oh, that's very good. And down through the back. Where you be? Get it caught on the one next to it there. That's okay. That's all good. I don't believe this one's a tiny bit small. I think it is. Come on. Me trying to find. <laughs> yeah, to get up back through that hole. Okay. Down in there. Next one. Don't forget to do a bit of a, a back stitch thing. Back down in there. Okay. Another little tiny one. Come on. We can do this, I'm sure I can. This is the one that's oh no, it's, the, it's a bit bigger too, isn't it? Let me just see this. I'm not going to use it. I can't be fiddling through there all day. I've got stuff to do. Anyway, they look a bit small if they're not. They still look it. Come on. <laughs> I won't get through. Must be pushing it, trying to push it through a knot or something. I've got a the reason a lot of times it won't go through is I'm really worried about pushing on the end of the needle because it's like a, well it's sharp too, you know. So it's pointy as well, so you get two pointy ends. I do not want to put it through my fingers. Okay, very good. I'll try that off. There we are. Now that's pretty cool. 
I think that looks really nice. And look at it again. How are we going, people? You think that's going along good? I'm over, I'm over here to do something nicely over here now, please. Uh, I think the, be uh, the beads and the lace look really cool together. I do like it. I do so much like it. So I've got this sort of stitch coming down here as well, the blanket stitch, and, and so I've done three different sorts of things with it. Um, and there's the other one on the back. Uh, I don't know why I keep sticking to the front, to, but I'm getting them somewhere then. It's real like you're getting somewhere. So along this one here, I'm going to do something a bit different again. I'm hoping I can do something a bit different. So with these, some of these things... This is a bit long, isn't it? Like, it's just too much, <laughs> if you understand what I'm trying to say. So I'm thinking about putting something on this. Um, piece of, um, I need a piece of lace to cover that. What do you reckon? You know, like a bit of, <clears throat> I'll find a lace pile. <clears throat> That's a lace. In something here. Yeah. Yeah, a bit of lace to put on this wall. Don't worry about that bit. It has to be something like substantial so you can see it. So I've got to cover it over a little bit, don't we? My body, just a couple of bits. I'll just pick out a couple of bits and pieces and see what I'm thinking about them. And they're going to go. It's going to work. I do, do, do think I'd like to try that, but I don't think it's right for this piece that I'm doing at the moment. There's also these bits here that I really, really love. Mm. And that sent me these. She did. Oh, do they nice, aren't they? I do love them, these pieces. Only thing is, it's a little tiny bit big for for what I'm doing. You know what? I don't like that there now either. <laughs> Here I go again, chopping things off. But you've got to look at these things. You've got to, you've got to see it, haven't you? You know, I see a lot of people starting out and make something that ended up completely different. I often say what I'm going to make and then it doesn't doesn't turn out at all like that. That was just not right for this. It was not right. It didn't work for me at all. I'm just make sure I cut the right cotton off here so I don't want to cut something off and have my beads all fall off everywhere. It would not be good, would it? Okay. Very good. <coughs> 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 Sorry about that. I think I might be having a chest infection too, you know. It's ridiculous I've got the cough. all happening which is not good. Now if I put that there that's going to take make all that side the same colour isn't it? So I think that um, now we're looking at fixing this we're, we're looking at changing this one a bit aren't we? We need to just give it a bit of um don't, don't start panicking people I haven't done it yet. <laughs> If you don't think it's right, don't worry, I haven't done it yet. Um, different, it, it's got to go a different place. It's definitely got to go in a different place. Okay, what else have I got here? Uh, um, I need a colour. I think I need a colour. See, there's, this, is, this has got the same colour in it as that other bit. Got fluff all over it too. Let me see what that is when you put a bit of this on. I'm going to actually cut this because I can't tell what's going on in this great big piece of stuff. Can I? <coughs> That's nice. It's not probably... I get enough off of that though, but that's okay because we can do some embroidery on it and that'll fix the colour up. That'll fix the colour up. That's good. 
I think I like that. I'm going to put it down there. <coughs> Made in cotton. I suppose you should have these, a lot of these threaded up, ready to go. But then you use it. <laughs> it's not been threaded, ready to go. I can use this um, here that I've got. Put this on. And then I want to put on some... Um, I think I want to pull on a bit of something, something. Hang on a minute. I've got all these ideas. I've got stuff in this box here. I'm thinking, oh dear, I want to do it. You know, an idea, better have some of that. Well, I should be able to make a quilt to cover the world. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> really good. I think I'm going to make another little set of flowers somewhere, like the little roses. I'm thinking about making some up along there. Oh dear, now the phone's ringing at me. <laughs> It's unavailable, I can't answer that, can I? Can you excuse me a minute, please? Hello? Oh, he's not here. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you. We're coming. Thank you. Okay, bye. Sorry about that, people. But that was a lady with a vacuum cleaner bag, so I had to answer her. <laughs> My husband bought a vacuum cleaner a long time ago and you have to buy bags to put it. We went to get some yesterday and there wasn't any there. So, um, you people are really in my life with me. I just you get to hear about everything. But anyway, so that was the lady ringing up to say that, to tell him that they were here. Because I don't know how much money we spend on vacuum cleaner bags, but we won't use. He actually got one that doesn't need a bag, but he doesn't like it because it doesn't do a good enough job, so... <clears throat> I don't know. It's work as far as I'm concerned, but you know what? It doesn't matter. You know, he's going to have to... Go. See, we, can, we have got that... That's um. That store is out away from our home, like it's these shops like Harvey Norman and Better Homes and Living or something that was. I think. Better Relief, I thought it was, but anyway, they're out, out, off, out of the town limits, just a tiny bit, or just maybe in it. But you can't get to that easy. I do want to took him out there yesterday to get them because it's a little way to walk. I don't know why they put them things out there. But anyway, save you spending money, I suppose you can't get near them. <laughs> then if you want something, I've, well I've, I've bought stuff online from them. Just to order it online and then they deliver it for me. Won't be worth doing their bags though because it'll probably cost more, just as much for the delivery as what it would for the bags, I suppose. Although they're $15, I think you only get five or something. But anyway, Hubby likes that vacuum cleaner, so I'm not going to argue with him. <coughs> well, I will, but <laughs> not, not just now. <laughs> just let him get it if he wants him. Okay, so now I'm going to... I answered it because I thought it might have been him, but I thought I'd better still answer it because... Oh, no, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's... I can't turn this off and I didn't want to... I didn't want to turn it off because I wanted to keep going. Oh wow! Oh my goodness, I mean, isn't that good? <laughs> Gee, that gives us a life, doesn't it? Of its own. <laughs> oh wow! I don't know to think of that. Well, it's nice, isn't it? Look good. It? I'm going to do a gypsy one too, you know, like a bag. But actually, the cover for the new gypsy journal I'm going to do with this sort of thing because I really want to. And. I think that looks good down there, don't you? Now I had another plan. I had a plan. I was going to do some other stitch. I can't remember now for what it was about. Let me see where I'm going to put something else. I've got to get another needle. That's not the right one to use for this. I need something that I can use a good sort of piece of cotton in. And I'm going to make some little flowers. I think. I'm going to make some little flowers. That's what I'm going to do. 
I think it was real plain. Actually, I was going to put some of these red back 